Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today I have something a little bit different than I normally review, and that is this um, kind of three in one sleeve for the 14 inch MacBook Pro. Now, when Moft sent out some products for my iPhone 14 Pro, I asked them if they could send this out just due to the fact that I didn't have anything to protect my MacBook Pro. So they were kind enough to send out this sleeve slash stand. So in this video, I'll show you the stand. I'll just kind of give you an up close look at it real quick. And then we'll show you kind of what you can do with it. You know, ultimately it's a sleeve um, slash storage for your MacBook Pro, and then it can act as a stand um, and give you a 15 degree viewing angle or a 25 degree viewing angle. And all of that comes in around $59 for this particular sleeve here. You can get it on Amazon, which I'll link it down below. Now they were kind enough to send black, which obviously if you know anything about my channel, you know I'm a big fan of just everything black, but there are other great colors like a tan color, navy, so on and so forth. So you'll be able to see those on Amazon. So looking at this, it's an actual pretty nice um, material. It's kind of like a faux leather. I'm not really sure the material, but I can tell that if I spilled something on it, it's just kind of wipe right off. It's not like, you know, real leather, I don't think. Um, but it doesn't feel cheap, obviously, because Moft makes some great products. Um, but you got some pretty nice little stitching here on the edges and some very minimal Moft branding right here, which I think the video will get. Um, but very, very simplistic. It's very thin, as you can see here, very, very thin. And then it's got this uh, neoprene back here, which is part of the storage um, of this particular sleeve here. So when you open it up, you can kind of see this little flap here, and that opens up the ability to store things in here. So let's say, for example, we put the MacBook Pro back inside of the sleeve, and then we open this up here, and then you can put some accessories, which let's go ahead and see what we can actually fit in here. So I have my Logitech mouse back here, which might be a pretty snug fit, but it actually works. And then let's go ahead and grab, say for example, like the charger that I would take with me with my MacBook Pro, and let's slide that in there as well. And, um, uh, looks like it kind of fits now obviously it's still gonna be a pretty snug fit here but as you can see there you kind of have the whole ripple lumpy looking effect here but with this neoprene material it stretches out so that way you're able to actually store things inside here so if you wanted to put like your wallet uh, as you can see i can fit a mouse and i can fit the charger and charging cable back here and still be able to close this and transport this with me on the go. So it's just really nice to be able to have this as an extra little bonus with this particular sleeve. Um, but like I said, you can put your wallet, other things, keys, whatever, and it's not going to scratch the, uh, the laptop or the MacBook Pro that you have inside here. Um, but let's go ahead and open it up here. So you got some magnetic clasp right here. So as you can hear there, very satisfying kind of sound there. Uh, but when you open it, you can kind of see what's going on inside. So it has a very nice kind of felt material here. It does say designed by Moft right there and uh, got all this going here. And then you got a little business card holder there. Um, so the initial um, thing is obviously using it as a sleeve, which hold on. I didn't even see all this in here. <laughs> so this is hilarious. So I'll say that I've been playing around with this and definitely didn't see this inside here. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this would have came in handy because I played around, for, <laughs> I played around with this for like a good 10, 15 minutes trying to figure out how to do the 15 and 25 degree. And here it is. So yeah, I'm an idiot. So there we go, but storage. So if you wanna just use it as like a sleeve slash storage for your laptop or your MacBook Pro, whatever it is that you have, you just slide it right in, right? Super simple, nothing too crazy there. And then it clasps shut and voila, there we have it. So that is 
essentially the easiest thing to do, right? You got the openings here uh, for the laptop to show. So pretty much straightforward, right? Simple. If you want to, you know, open it, you can do so. It's not a big deal, very easy, but it's great to have something like this. If you're transporting your laptop, if you just want to hold it like this, for example, that should be totally fine. Uh, or if you put it in your backpack or something like that, and you just don't want to get it scratched up, then this is a nice little feature. Now, one thing that I will say is obviously the main feature is the ability to use this as a stand. So if you're on the go and you just want kind of a portable desk, then this can turn in to that stand for you. So obviously easy to get out. You just slide it out, bada bing, bada boom. And like I said, you got a 15 degree angle and a 25 degree angle. So for the 15 degree angle one, it's pretty straightforward, or at least I thought it was at first. You just lift this up here and you basically kind of just fold this hinge and let it sit and that's it, right? I don't know why I made it so complicated when I was doing it, um, but I did somehow. And this is, like I said, the look of it. And then when you put your laptop or your MacBook Pro or whatever it is that you have, where the branding is comes in to play because this is a little flap that lifts up and that's where your laptop bottom is going to rest because that's going to keep it from sliding down. And that is it. So now at a 15 degree viewing angle, now I'm able to lift up the laptop. So lift up the screen here. And now I have a very comfortable 15 degree viewing angle where I'm able to use my laptop or MacBook Pro or whatever it is that I have that will fit this size. And it's a very comfortable 15 degrees. So it's raised up just enough where my palms are feeling comfortable. I'm typing, blah, 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 blah. And there we go. Now, if you want it to be a little bit higher at the 25 degree angle, that's also easy. But like I said, knowing me, I made it difficult. But what you're gonna do is essentially you have some magnets here on the corners. You're gonna just push those down and they hold very strong and that's it. Now in the pictures that I saw, it showed um, like this actually touching and I don't know how they were able to get to it, but I have found just leaving it like this is exactly the way to go because these magnets are very strong and it's not going anywhere. So once again, I do my thing. I put the little moth flap up and now I have it sitting at a 25 degree angle, which is quite a bit more elevated, right? It's 10 more degrees. But now that I have it like this, it just sits up a little bit higher. And, you know, obviously if you're wanting it to be a little more angled, then this is fine. You know, I can still do my typing just fine. In my opinion, I think the 15 degrees, the perfect one, in my opinion, I feel like this is a little bit too high. Um, at least for my liking, but once again, that just really depends on what you're using it, how you're using it, if you're standing up at a stand-up desk or whatever. Um, but like I said, this is the 25 degree angle and it seems to be cool. It seems to be fine, like I said, if you are someone that, um, you know, likes the 25 degree. So when it comes down to the actual stand, the only real big gripe that I have with it uh, is that this little flap here is intended to keep the laptop or MacBook Pro from slipping, right? And it does, it does a perfect job. But if you know anything about the MacBook Pros, you know that you got your little hinge here where you can lift up your screen, right? But if you notice when I was showing y'all everything, I was kind of doing it from the sides here because where the flap is, it gets in the way a little bit and I can't get to that hinge because it's literally right there. And so if I want it to be perfectly centered, it's going to be in the way and that's the only downside is that you kind of have to angle it just right to be able to get under that hinge so then you can do it. Um, but I have found that just doing it from the edge here um, hasn't been that difficult. 
just use my fingernail and boom, there we go. Um, but that's really my only gripe with this particular stand is um, just kind of the angle of where that is at. Now, granted, I don't know of a better way to make that better, um, but like I said, it's just something that I've noticed while I was testing it and playing around with it. So that's really my only gripe. Other than that, guys, I feel like it's a really great and well-made sleeve slash stand. Um, so like I said, yeah, it's 60 bucks, but at the end of the day, you're getting a three-in-one type of thing here. So I think it's well worth the money. And Moth makes some great products. I mean, at the end of the day, I have used um, another stand of theirs for my old laptop that I had, and I've used their stands on my phones. Um, so if you're looking for stands on the go type of thing, then Moft makes some great ones. You can go to their website as well. Uh, I believe it's moft.us and see all their other goodies that they have as well. Um, so there you have it guys. So if you are interested in more Moft products, then I highly recommend you check out the card over here. That's going to take you to my iPhone 14 Pro video that I did of some of their stands and cases. And uh, obviously I would love it if you subscribed, if you enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that bell icon so that way you get up to date notifications when I post new content. So be safe guys, God bless and we'll see you on the next one.